In our previous video, we demonstrated a flight where we navigated to the Casanova VOR using the NAV-1 navigational radio. But in the G-1000, we can navigate using the GPS instead of the NAV radios. Until this point in our video series, you've only seen the GPS as the map that shows up on the MFD. But now let's use the GPS to navigate to the Casanova VOR. In GPS navigation, you don't put any frequency into either of the NAV radios. Instead, you enter the GPS identifier of the station or waypoint that you want to fly to. There's two different ways to navigate using the GPS in the G1000. The first is called direct to navigation, and the second is with the flight plan. Both of these modes are activated using the buttons in the flight management system or FMS section of the controls. This button is where you enter a direct to waypoint, and this button is where you enter a flight plan. So for now, let's use the GPS to fly direct to the Casanova VOR. As a review, we're going to be departing the Leesburg or KJYO airport, which is right here, and we'll be navigating to the Casanova VOR, which is right here. Back on the PFD of the G1000, we click on the Direct To button right here to bring up the Direct To entry screen. We use the FMS knobs, the large and the small knobs, to enter a direct two-way point into this position where the cursor is currently highlighting a field. When we turn the inner FMS knob one time, it immediately starts entering a letter into the first position. So I'm going to use my mouse wheel to dial up the C for the first position, then turn the outer mouse wheel to move that cursor one position over to the right, and I'll dial in the S, then move the position over to the right one more with the outer knob, and then dial in the N. At this point, we just press the Enter key to accept this. You can notice also as confirmation that it does say Casanova here, and we know that it's 29 nautical miles away at a bearing of 219er. So I'll press the Enter key. And notice the G1000 asks you to push the Enter A key again to confirm that we want to activate this direct to waypoint. So I'll push it again. And you'll notice that the CDI on the HSI has spun around and given us a direction to the station. If you notice also up at the top of the PFD, the GPS section has also filled in with some additional information. We can see that our current waypoint is Casanova. Our distance is 29.6 nautical miles, and our desired track to that station will be 218 degrees. So let's take off and fly direct to the Casanova VOR using the GPS as our navigation method. But as soon as we start moving, pay attention to the CDI. It's already showing that we're getting off course. This happens because when we established our course to the Casanova VOR, our airplane was positioned at the end of the runway. But now that we're on our takeoff roll, our airplane is no longer in that original position, so we really are off course from the original line that we created. At this point, we can do one of two things. We can either turn left and try to re-intercept our original course line, or we can re-establish a new course to the Casanova VOR using our airplane's current position. The way we do that is we would push the Direct To button again, like this, and then just push Enter and Enter again, and it immediately reacquires the GPS course to the Casanova VOR. So as we continue our turn in that direction, we may continue to get a little bit off course. And if we want to, as we get through the turn, we can reacquire a new course from our airplane's newest current position and get a more accurate line directly to the Casanova VOR. This line looks pretty good, so we'll just stay on it. And that's it for GPS Direct to Navigation. In the next section, we'll talk more about GPS navigation using flight plans instead of the Direct to button.